Hello everyone, I am Dr. N. Sindhil Madasamy, Associate Professor of Computer Science Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for learning this session. In this session, topic to be covered is Design Principles under Unit 5, Cloud Security. At the end of Unit 5, the students will be able to outline software development for cloud using secure software design principles. At the end of the session, the students will be able to understand cloud security design principles. In this session, we will discuss about cloud security design principles. 11 security design principles are Least privilege Separation of duties Defense in depth Fail safe Economy of mechanism Complete mediation Open design Least common mechanism, psychological acceptability, weakest link, leveraging existing components. First principle is least privilege. The principle of least privilege maintains that an individual process or the other type of entity should be given the minimum privileges and resources for the minimum period of time required to complete a task. This approach reduces the opportunity for unauthorized access to sensitive information. Second principle is separation of duties. Separation of duties require that completion of a specified sensitive activity or the access to sensitive objects is dependent on the satisfaction of plurality of conditions. For example, an authorization would require signatures of more than one individual or the arming of a bond system would require two individuals with different keys. Thus, the separation of duties forces collusion among entities in order to compromise the system. Third principle is defense in depth. Defense in depth is the application of multiple layers of the production wherein a subsequent layer will provide production. If a previous layer is breached, the Information Assurance Technical Framework Forum IATFF, an organization sponsored by the National Security Agency NSA, has produced a document titled The Information Assurance Technical Framework IATF that provides excellent guidance on the concept of defense in depth. The IATFF encourages and support technical interchanges on the topic of information assistance among U.S. industry, U.S. academic institution, and U.S. government agencies. Fourth principle is fail-safe. Fail-safe means that if your cloud system fails, it should fail to state in which the security of the system and its data are not compromised. One implementation of this plus B would be to make a system default to a state in which a user or process is denied access to the system. A complementary rule would be to ensure that when system recovers, it should recover to a secure state and not permitted unauthorized access to sensitive information. This approach is based on using permissions instead of exclusions. In the situation where the system recovery is not done automatically, the failed system should permit access only by the system administrator and not by other users until security controls are re-established. Fifth principle is economy of mechanism. Economy of mechanism promotes simple and comprehensive design and implementation of production mechanism so that unintended access paths does not exist or can be readily identified and eliminated. Sixth principle is complete mediation. In complete mediation, every request by a subject to access an object in a computer system must undergo a valid and effective authorization procedure. This mediation must not be suspended or become capable of being bypassed, even when the information system is being initialized undergoing shutdown, being restarted, or is in maintenance mode. Complete mediation entails the following. 
identification of entity making the access request verification that request has not changed since its initiation application of the appropriate authorization procedures re-examination of previously authorized request by the same entity seventh principle is open design there has always been an ongoing discussion about merits and strengths of the security design that are kept secret versus designs that are open to scrutiny and evaluation by community at large a good example is an encryption system some feel that keeping the encryption algorithm secret makes it more difficult to break the opposing philosophy believes that exposing the algorithm to review and study by expert at large while keeping the encryption key secret leads to a stronger algorithm because the experts have a higher probability of discovering weakness in it in general the latter approach has proven more effective except in the case of organizations such as national security agency which employs some of the world best cryptographers and mathematicians for most purposes an open access cloud system design that has been evaluated and tested by a myriad of experts provides a more secure authentication method than one that has not been widely assessed security of such mechanisms depends on protecting passwords or keys eighth principle is least common mechanism this principle states that a minimum number of protection mechanisms should be common to multiple users as shared access ports can be sources of unauthorized information exchange shared access ports that provide unintentional data transfers are known as covered channels thus the least common mechanisms promotes the least possible sharing of common security mechanisms ninth principle is psychological acceptability psychological acceptability refers to the ease of use and intuitiveness of the user interface that controls and interacts with cloud access control mechanisms users must be able to understand the user interface and use it without having to interpret complex intersections tenth principle is weakest link as in the world saying a chain is only as strong as its weakest link security of the cloud system is only as good as its weakest component thus it is important to identify the weakest mechanisms in the security chain and layers of the defense and improve them so that the risk to the system are mitigated to an acceptable level seventh principle is leveraging existing components in many instances the security mechanisms of a cloud implementation might not be configured properly or used to their maximum capability reviewing the state and settings of the extant security mechanisms and ensuring that they are operating at their optimum design points will greatly improve the security posture of an information system another approach that can be used to increase cloud system security by leveraging existing components is to partition the system into different sub units then if a security mechanism is penetrated for one sub unit it will not affect the other sub units and damage to the computing resources will be minimized the summary of this session we learned cloud security design principles i hope you found this lecture is more useful thank you and have a pleasant day